faith became important to me when I was in high school. When I was a sophomore in high school, I was 15 years old. I did not know who I was. I didn't know what I was supposed to do with my life. I don't know what 15 year old does, but you know, I for sure didn't and I was a mess. I um, for sure thought I was going to be the White House press secretary. I went to school for communication. I was only in that um, field for a semester and I was like, this is miserable. I would never want to do this. Like I just was completely discontent and then when I finally like, um, like took hold of that calling and was like, you're going to serve teenagers and serve the community for the rest of your life, I just felt this immense peace. And when I graduated, a position became available and so they hired me and I've been here ever since. I think it's important to live your life um, serving anyone you come in contact with or being a bright light to any person you see, whether it's the cashier at the grocery store or the mailman or a teacher or your neighbor. You see somebody at the beach, you're just making sure you acknowledge them and even just saying hello, good morning or anything like that is just something that I feel like I've taken from her in the way that she lives her own life. Our um, ministry partners with an organization called the Center for Student Missions um, and they have ministry sites in every major U.S. city and we um, take our high schoolers on one trip and our middle schoolers on a different trip, we separate them. Um, and they can serve um, in homeless shelters and soup kitchens and after school programs and neighborhood cleanups. So we've been to Philadelphia, Washington DC, Boston, Nashville, and then this year we're going to Chicago. We would see Megan at parent meetings and we would see her at church and see her around. She was there, and she was there for the families as well as the community. It didn't matter if you were from here or from there. She was willing to talk with you, willing to listen to you, support you. She was there. She's been involved with my kids now for probably about four years. She actually helped Molly, my daughter, pick which university she was going to go to after we had spent a weekend. She called Megan. They had lunch, they did a whole pros and cons list, helped her make her decision. I don't feel like I work. I just feel like I like live my life and um, every day is different and every day is an adventure and every day, most days are super fun.